Good morning, Warren Tech students and staff. I'm Katie. And I'm Sam. And, and these are your Nightline News announcements for Wednesday, September 26, 2018. Picture day is tomorrow, September 27th. Write it down or put a reminder in your phone so you can look your best. Anyone interested in joining student government, come to a general interest meeting tomorrow, the 27th, after school in Mr. Lance's room, 130. Previous year members should make every effort to attend. The PTSA will hold their annual back to school activity night this Friday from 6.30 to 9.30. There will be fun games and music, so don't miss it. Crazy kickball, cornhole, board games, and more. Please have your student ID and a canned food item to donate to the food pantry for admission. Water and snacks will be provided. The administrators will be throwing the second annual back to school barbecue. It will be held next Thursday, October 4th from 3 to 5. Come enjoy some free food, good music, and fun. And as always, the late buses will be available. Week of Respect is quickly approaching. It will begin next Monday, October 1st, and run until Friday. There are a bunch of fun activities planned. On October 1st, we will be wearing blue in support of World Day of Bullying Prevention. Please wear your blue gear to join in solidarity to stop bullying and cyberbullying. Also on Monday, there will be a door decorating contest. The theme is bullying prevention. Homerooms will have a chance to decorate their classroom doors. The best door wins a prize. October 5th will be meme day. As we all know, no hats, costumes, or face paint is allowed. However, we encourage you to recreate your favorite meme on a t-shirt and wear it on Friday. On a serious note, this has the potential to be very fun and we want you to get creative, but please make sure everything is school appropriate. We want to be able to plan more fun events for the school, but we all need to make sure we are following dress code and school rules. If you want to check for appropriateness ahead of time, see Ms. Sarte or any administrator. <laughs> Other events are planned throughout the week. <laughs> make sure to keep an eye out. Performing or love the technical or management aspect of theater, come join us for workshops this fall to strengthen current skills or learn new ones. We will be covering all bases of theater during these workshops, which will be great for auditions in December. The start date for the workshops will be Thursday, October 11th from 3 to 5 p.m. If you are interested in the workshops, please email Ms. Farber at farber at s at wctech.org and she will give you the schedule and more info. Hope to see you there. And for Nightline News, I'm Katie. And I'm Sam. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Warren, Warren Tech. Tech. Good morning, Warren Tech. I'm Michael Santastefano, and welcome to the inaugural episode of This Week in Stupid News. Let's get right into it. In Seoul, South Korea, 12 university-aged men are believed to have been following a junk food diet in order to bypass the regulated two-year mandatory military service for able-bodied men. Gorging on pizza, hamburgers, and water retention pills five times a day, these men attempted to gain enough weight to fail the entry examination. If these men are found guilty of attempting to avoid the service, they will all be forced to enlist, regardless of age or standard of health. A man in Worcester, England has been arrested after using a giraffe sculpture stolen from a hospice center as a battering ram in the burglary of a clothing store. Dottie the giraffe was one of almost 70 sculptures placed around the city as part of a walking trail in order to raise money for the local St. Richard's Hospice. It has been reported that Dottie has been badly damaged because of the ordeal and will not be returning to the trail. The video of a woman eating a chicken finger dipped in Coca-Cola at the U.S. Open has surfaced on the internet and people are losing their minds over it. Alexa Greenfield, who had come to watch the tennis match with her nephews, said that she had been doing it all of her life and that she had learned the trick from her father, who said that it was a quick way to cool the chicken finger off before eating it. Greenfield also reported that she was hungover at the time and was unaware that she was being recorded. That's all for today. Uh, tune in next time for This Week in Stupid News. Songs don't make this fear.